Welcome back everyone to part two of this series where we learn how to find a matrix that diagonalizes another. And to do this we'll be looking at eigenvalues and vectors. This time the question reads, find the matrix P that diagonalizes B. As you can see underneath, we have been provided the value for lambda, which is the eigenvalue. We have five as an eigenvalue and two. And two is repeating on the main diagonal. So we have two twos. So in total we have five, two, and two as our eigenvalues. And underneath each, we have these row reduced echelon form where we took B, subtracted it by the eigenvalue times its identity matrix, and then row reduced it where we ended up with this. This helps us out quite a lot because we're now ready to find the eigenvectors. We've finished the eigenvalue part, they've given us this hint, and we don't have to go through that. So once you get to this stage in solving these types of problems, you want to look for columns, let's take this one for instance, we want to look for columns that don't have a leading one, and that will be our parameter. So this column does not have a leading one, and if I call this x sub 1, I can say x sub 1 is equal to a parameter t. And to create our column vector, I'll write down our vector like this. We have two equations, the first one, the first row is our first equation, will be x sub 2 is equal to 0, and the second row will be our second equation. There's no relationship between x sub 1 and these two equations that I just wrote. So, if x sub 1 is t, it has a coefficient of 1, I'll place that there, and then x sub 2 and x sub 3 are 0 times t. So this right here is called an eigenvector, and we'll need that for p later on the matrix that diagonalizes B. For this one, we have this as a column that doesn't have a leading one. So I'll set x sub three is equal to t, and our two equations, that first row will be x sub one is equal to zero, and this equation will be x sub two is equal to zero. Once again, there's no relationship between x sub three and these two. So I will write down our column vector is equal to x sub 1 is 0, x sub 2 is 0, and x sub 3 is 1. This is another eigenvector. We found two eigenvectors, but this is a 3 by 3 matrix, and that's a problem. It turns out that we don't have enough linear independent eigenvectors. We needed 3, but we got 2. Therefore, this matrix B is not diagonalizable. And there you have it. Another example on how to find a matrix that diagonalizes another.